The last Muslim king of Granada, Boabdil, was buried in 1494 in Tlemcen, Algeria, in a cemetery near the Zianid royal palace, the Mature. This cemetery was laid out in 1364, in the 14th century, under the Zianid king Abu Hamu Musatu, who was himself born in Granada and educated there. The place had two names, the first one was, Abiyakub Cemetery, named after the king's father. The second one was, Sidi Brahim Cemetery, named after a saint venerated by the population. The cemetery was part of a set that included, a mausoleum originally designed to house the burial of the king's father, Abiyakub and his uncles as well as a school, college, university, the Madrasa Yaqabiya, and an oratory mosque. During French colonization, demolition work was carried out in the heart of the old town of Tlemcen and it was at the level of a house, contiguous to the mosque of Sidi Brahim, that the white marble funerary stone of Boabdil was found. It was his epitaph. Here is its translation. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, blessings of God on our Prophet Muhammad and his family, tomb of a king who died in exile, in Tlemcen, a foreigner, abandoned among his wives, after he had fought, the one from whom the Most High turned away. The inflexible fate struck him. But God gave him resignation when trials came upon him. God poured forever on his tomb a saving heavenly dew. This tomb is that of the just, magnanimous, generous king, accomplished fighter. The emir of the Muslims and the representative of the master of the worlds, our lord Abu Abdullah, the victorious with the help of God, son of our lord the emir of the Muslims, the saint, Abu el Hassan, son of the emir of the Muslims Abu el Hajjaj, son of the emir of the Muslims Abu Abdullah. Son of the emir of the Muslims Abu el Hajjaj, son of the emir of the Muslims Abu el Walid, son of Nasir el Ansari, el Khazraji, E.S. Sadi, the Andalusian. May God sanctify his grave and assign him a high place in his paradise. He fought in his country of Andalusia. For the triumph of the faith, inspired only by his zeal for the divine glory, and lavishing his generous life on many battlefields, in the terrible melee, where the innumerable Christian armies rushed at a handful of Muslim horsemen. And he did not cease, in the time of his power. And during his caliphate, to fight for the glory of God, giving to the holy war all that it required, and raising, when he came to falter, the courage of his warriors. He arrived in the city of Tlemcen, where he always found a warm welcome and compassion. It was then that was accomplished what had been decided by him whose judgments are irrevocable. And whose mortals submit to the law, according to what he said, every soul shall taste death. And death surprised him on the foreign land, far from his homeland. Far from the country of his ancestors, the great kings descended from El Ansar, the protectors of the religion of the Chosen One. And God raised him to bliss and called him back to himself of his own free will, between the two evening prayers. On the Wednesday night of the new moon of Chabain in the year 899, and he was about forty years old. My God! May you accept the fights that I led for the faith. For what I fear is that they will not make me find favor with you. And this is what makes me hope for your forgiveness and your kindness. By the merits of Muhammad, do not frustrate my hope. Thank you.